fuck. <laughs> we got the It's grad pick day, woohoo! And I have a bunch of questions that you guys submitted on my Instagram. So we'll do a little Q and A, a little get ready with me, and then we're gonna go take pics. Madison Beer Channel Surfing Artistry Palette, which is really beautiful. Love it. Another new one I have is the Morphe 35C Chic. I think it's Everyday Chic, is it all? Yes, Everyday Chic. So, with that said, let's answer the first question. Advice for zero L's starting law school in the fall? I think that's like one of my most asked questions on TikTok too. And honestly, one thing I would say before law school is nothing. <laughs> like seriously, relax, like take the time to spend with your family and your friends and just enjoy life because you won't really have much of a life once law school starts. <laughs> and they teach you everything you need to know. I know there's a lot of anxiety going into law school and you don't know like, oh my God, how do I outline? Like what's out? I had no idea what any of those things were. I mean, I, I had somewhat of an idea because I read Law School Confidential, which I highly recommend. And that goes through like case briefing and that's where I learned how to like color code my briefs and learned about law school exams. So if you wanna know a little bit more before you start, I highly recommend reading that book and it's, an easy read so I just read it by the pool and tanned and I also worked at the bar slash restaurant but that's it if you really wanted to do something I would say try to find an internship to see if you're if you actually really like working in a law firm but it's not required I didn't do that and I turned out just fine now what type of law do I want to practice? I got this question a lot. I want to go into financial services and compliance. So actually once I take the bar exam, I'm going to have to take a securities exam because I need to be registered to work with securities, um, either at a broker dealer or a bank, a private hedge fund, something along those lines. I did an externship at a hedge fund investment advisor during my 2L summer so that's really where I realized that I liked that and that's what I wanted to do. If there is one thing that I could change about my law school journey, I wouldn't change anything really. I think everything worked out perfectly for me. <laughs> like you can always say, oh I could study, if I could have studied more, I could have done this, I could have done that, but like there's nothing that I specifically would have changed. I wish that the last year and a half wasn't done from my basement. Other than that, I had a great experience and I did all the internships I wanted to do. I took all the classes I wanted to take. So I don't think I would have changed anything. Do I recommend joining clubs? Another question that I got in law school. I'm also going to give my opinion on joining clubs in undergrad. So in law school, I am a member of the corporate and commercial law society honestly i do think it's a good to have clubs on like a club you don't have to have a million clubs but just 
one on your resume that is relevant to what type of law you want to practice shows that you're a member of the law school community and all of that good stuff and you're not like a hermit <laughs> i mean it's hard now with covid like the last year all of our events and stuff had to be virtual but we had some really great virtual zoom events and you're still able like to network that way i know it's harder but at the end of the day like you just gotta make it work but i really enjoyed that experience i'm actually a 3l rep for the corporate and commercial law society so if you can get like a board title then that also looks good on your resume as for undergrad if you don't know my law school journey you can watch that video but long story short i really wasn't at an undergrad long enough to join a club and i graduated from john jay criminal justice and i was only there for a year the way my credits transferred so i just wanted to get in and out of there and get to law school so i did not join any clubs when i was there and it didn't hurt me so at the end of the day do what you would like to do my advice for one else one thing i would say is to prepare yourself for the change because your life is going to change you might be used to going to undergrad like a couple of days a week and i personally took six classes just to like prepare myself for the workload i was going to experience in law school but you're going to school Monday through Friday. It's a full-time job plus overtime. I knew that going in and I didn't really have a problem adjusting because I was older. I was 25. I already did my partying. I had my boyfriend at home. Like I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. Pretty much all my friends are also like settled down. Everyone stays home anyway. <laughs> So during 1L, I really didn't feel like I was like, missing out on anything, but my weekends and nighttime all went to studying and just adjusting to learning the material because you are retraining your brain to think like a lawyer the entire first year. Another thing I would say is make sure you have a solid support system. Somebody, I have Matt, and it would have been really difficult to get through the last three years without him. Just like with law school, just like the stress that you experience, you need someone there to kind of like pull you out of your study bubble and just like be like, okay, take a breather. It's gonna be all right, relax. Even though like if someone telling me that it doesn't really make me relax, but it's fine. are on pretty much everything is done and i'll answer more questions as i'm like getting dressed because it's like 5 17 so like i'm pretty sure my friend is gonna call me and be like hey i'm here and be like uh, not ready i can't imagine what like it's gonna be like on my wedding day i'm definitely gonna be late all right let's take out the hair so this is a question that i've gotten more than once on my tiktok and People are saying, once I graduate, am I gonna stop posting? No, I'm gonna continue, of course. Still gonna be going strong, don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. I will be here. I'm not gonna just like stop. I'm not gonna like just graduate next month and just like be like, bye. <laughs> How do you study when you have no motivation? I'm not saying I always have motivation, but if I didn't wanna do this, I wouldn't be doing it. And I think that comes with age as well, just like, knowing what you want to do and like what it costs if you're not doing
doing it because with school, I mean, it's very law school is very expensive. So if you're not putting in 110%, like what's the point of you even going? And when I was younger, when I was like 18, 19, in my first couple years of college, like I didn't give a shit. I didn't study. I didn't want to. Then I just didn't. And like didn't I didn't care but obviously that's not good so if you really want to be there I think you'll just find the motivation I mean you don't need to have to you don't have to study all the time you know yourself and I think it's just you need to listen to yourself when you need breaks I feel guilty when I'm not studying sometimes but I know that I need to take that time out of my day to relax otherwise I will go crazy <laughs> and for me I always take the time at night to watch my TV shows my I love watching TV and I have certain shows that are on on certain nights so I study a lot during the day but I never really study at night um, so far this semester I haven't even pulled an all-nighter knock on wood now I'm gonna like pull an all-nighter this week <laughs> Last semester I did, but I don't, I had a lot more, go I feel like I had more going on last semester. By the way, Kelly is here. She's just like adjusting her bag and stuff outside. So I told her I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna let her in. Let me show you my hair from back here. Yeah. Oh, it looks so fabulous. Now I can't really see. So like maybe I shouldn't have moved back. Perfect, okay. Let me put on my jewels and all that stuff. Okay. Hey guys, we're dressed. Cute. I feel like I can't, you can't really see the full gist. Bah. Okay guys, the last clip that you saw, I literally dropped my phone on the um, floor with my coffee and everything. But we are here looking for parking to take pics. I'm with Kelly, my friend from high school and photographer. So I'm excited. Finally, we this is happening. Parking. We found yeah. parking. <laughs> oh my God. I've been talking about this in my vlog like for the last like two weeks. So people are like thinking that like, I'm just like lying about taking my pictures, but we're <laughs> well, doing, we're it doing it right <laughs> now. So get ready. Set. Go. Go. <laughs> uh. Kelly's doing her thing. Taking pictures of the shoes. Okay, just always be smiling. Just always smile. <laughs> Don't worry, because I feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. So. <laughs> Alright, what will the baby be? Let's see! <laughs> 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 a little bit of an update we've moved locations we're actually in the city of white plains right so now for this yeah this is gonna be a good one because we're going to the federal courthouse and we're gonna pop i don't know like, am i gonna be allowed to do champagne shower in front of, in front of the, courthouse? the courthouse i mean of course not in session right now so i think we you're the law student you tell me i don't know i I would say that's like inappropriate, but we can do it. YOLO. like midnight right now i have glitter all over my face <laughs> and it's not from my eyeshadow it's from me blowing glitter everywhere <sighs> i got home and i just was so tired i had to lay on the couch and i made myself dinner and i just got up now but i didn't get home until like 8 45 so yeah tomorrow is my last 
day of law school. Like, ever. Like, last day of classes. Oh my god. And I have a whole slew of questions from you guys on Instagram that I did not get to earlier today. So, we will answer those tomorrow. And... I guess I'll talk to you then. I have so much going on right now in my mind. Like, I'm excited about graduation, but I'm stressed about finals. And <laughs> it's just so much, like, so much happening. And I'm sitting here in my apartment by myself. So, like, Matt's at work. But it's crazy that I can't ha even have my last day of classes with my friends. Like, that kind of sucks. Because um, we actually do all have class together at 2 o'clock in an hour. And we can't even be together for that. And that sucks. It really does. Um, but I'm just grateful to be graduating and to have made it to this point and to have met those girls. So they'll be at my grad party and we will celebrate outside of my apartment. So, <gasps> Woo right, well... I guess um, I'm gonna, I have an hour until my next class, so I definitely need to do some studying, so I'm gonna do that. I did say I was gonna answer your questions, but I just had a moment, and <laughs> I'll answer your questions later, because I really do need to get my homework done, well, studying done for finals, so. All right, let's get to it. miles on this freaking desk bike. So cool. Now I can kill two birds with one stone and study while I work out and it's gonna be cool. This is my new vanity chair. I figured let me open this while I talk to you guys and answer your questions from yesterday because Amazon always comes at the worst times and I was supposed to be studying right now but instead I'm opening up this chair. So whatever <laughs> you only live once right and this is my last like day of law school so let me just do what I want to do and have fun but let me check the questions <laughs> okay how did I earn money while in law school well my first year I worked at a bar and restaurant on Fridays and Saturdays honestly at the end of the day I ended up going down to just one day a week I would work Saturdays but even so I would do a 12 hour shift from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. a lot of the times I'd be there to like 5 a.m. actually but <clears throat> on a good day working a double shift I would leave with like a thousand dollars so at the end of the day I didn't need to do anything else it was Hiring at times because I would get home on Saturday night, well, technically Sunday morning, and then I would have to get up at like 10 a.m. start my readings for the next week. After a while, like I couldn't continue to do that. Then my summer 1L, I got a paid internship, so that was good. I worked full time, so I was making solid money for the whole summer. They offered me that job throughout the fall, and then they I continued there until May. 2020 through the pandemic and then I actually got another externship over the summer this past summer the pandemic and now my blog actually continues to give me steady income monthly so thank you guys so much and obviously I'm not gonna be working while I study for the bar exam so my boyfriend has also helped me out a lot, which I would be, have to be working a whole lot more if I didn't have him in my life. So God bless Matt. Workout routine and regular diet. Well, I told you guys before I do not work out, but I am going to start. And um, 
diet, I am vegetarian. I try to eat gluten-free and dairy-free when I can. I The only thing dairy I have really is cheese sometimes. And yeah, I gave up meat in last July and I have not gone back. Would you ever move to another state? I don't want to say absolutely not because my dad lives in Florida. My aunt and cousins all live in Connecticut, which is literally like 20 minutes away from here. I love New York and ooh, I don't really see myself moving out of the tri-state area anytime soon. How to best prepare for closed book exams in person starting in the fall. Okay, so I had a few closed book exams my first year, my first semester, I had CivPro with closed book and that was like, oh my God, I'm getting PTSD thinking about it. But I will say you, ha it's, you have to memorize. So for me, my, and this is also another question, um, best memorization tips, kill two questions at once. I love flashcards. I think that they're super helpful with memorizing and so I make flashcards. Another thing that I did and I'm going to do again for the bar exam because I need to memorize a lot for the bar. I voice recorded myself. So like with CivPro, I like would talk through an entire rule and the analysis of like personal jurisdiction or ooh like contracts, because that was another closed book I had. I would talk through all of the rules for offer, acceptance, so counter offer, so on and so forth. And just like record it in a way like that makes sense to you and in your own words. So then, and listen to it when you're doing stuff. So I would listen to it as I was driving to school, I was walking up to class, I would listen to it as I was going to sleep, I would listen to it as I was cleaning around the house. So like, I was doing the most, because like when I wasn't studying at my desk or in the library, like I was listening to that and like, it really worked. Work-life balance advice and advice for OCIs for a rising 2L. Okay, so we'll start with work-life balance. For me, it's very easy to attain the work-life balance because I live with my boyfriend and so it doesn't really require much for me to be like, I need to stop doing school stuff and spend time with him because I don't have to, I think it'd be a lot harder if I didn't live with him because I would have to make plans and like go to his house or he'd come to me and it would be very difficult. I don't know how people do it. Like, I don't know if people have relationships in law school and like aren't um, living with their significant other. They probably like never see them. But you need to make time for who's important in your life. So for me, this past week, for example, it was my two best friends' birthdays are back to back. Actually three, but the third one's at next week. So we celebrated two and this past Saturday or Friday, and I said to myself, you know what? I haven't been out. I haven't seen them since November when we had Friendsgiving. Like, that's crazy. I need to see my friends. So you really just need to be like, okay, if I study all day, I have to eat dinner, right? Like you have to eat. So I study all day. I woke up early, studied and got ready and went out to dinner with them. And we were home by like 11 o'clock, but I still got a little drunk. I had girl time, all the boys were together and it was good. You need to also know how to shut it off because right now I'm home every single day, right? Like, okay, I could be studying right now, but I'm gonna study later and I have a half hour into my next class. So like, am I really gonna get into studying? No, like it's only gonna be a half hour and by the time I actually get into it, then I'm gonna have to stop. So I'm doing this and this is fun for me, setting up my new chair, talking to you guys, filming for YouTube, like doing blog things. So I make sure there's like a mixture of both work and play in my day-to-day -day life, even though I'm home. A designer piece that's worth the money. I think actually the Gucci disco bag is so worth the money. The black one that I have, I that's like my go-to crossbody. It's not annoying to bring around with you. I'll bring it out during the day. I'll bring it out at night, like for a date. Like, Unless I need a big tote bag or like, yeah, all my designer bags, like besides that one, and I have a Stella McCartney that's a crossbody, but it's a little bit smaller. Yeah, they're all totes. And I just think the crossbodies are so worth it. So a 
the Gucci. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's timeless. I love that one. I would say if you're looking to get a designer bag and treat yourself. The disco bag, it also comes in nude, which is beautiful. So worth it. Advice for OCIs for Rising 2L. Well. well, I'm sorry, I did not do those. I mean, I thought at first I wanted to do Big Law, but it ends up now that I am not going into that. I'm gonna go into either a hedge fund or a financial services compliance law at possibly a financial advisor or maybe work at an institutional bank and work in their legal department. So I didn't do on-campus interviews. I got my jobs on my own and I used LinkedIn and I used the school's like job posting website, but I did not go to the on-campus interviews. So I can't really speak to those, but I guess I can give you just advice for going into 2L and looking for jobs. Definitely explore if like the on-campus interviews don't go well, explore LinkedIn and Indeed and your job website for school and then try to get a job during the semester for 2L because I think as much as you can put on your resume, a lot of people like I that I knew did not keep their summer jobs through the fall and either got new jobs or like didn't work. I was lucky enough to get that offer so I kept it and I got amazing experience. For any interview, I would say pair yourself, like know exactly what the company is about or the firm is about, know your stuff. I don't think I ever went into an interview without looking at the website and looking at attorneys, like bios on their website, looking through there, finding them on LinkedIn, just getting to know everything you can possibly find out about the company beforehand and just trying not to stress just be yourself because i think that's what really helped me get jobs is just being myself no one ever asked in an interview to see my transcripts or what my gpa was i mean granted i would be more than happy to show you sometimes you come out of one out not as happy with your grades as you thought like i went in i was like, i'm getting a 4.0 because that's what i got in undergrad but that wasn't the case and then you're kind of like discouraged about your grades, but you know you did all right. And for me, I was worried that maybe they were gonna ask about rankings or something. I mean, it wasn't terrible, like I did average, but like to me, B's were like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> now I'm like, yes, B's get degrees. So I never had anyone ask me that, like that though. So I just wanna say for anybody who's worried as a one L, so don't worry about that. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna finish doing this because I don't know, I'm <laughs> trying to talk to you guys. I think I got almost every question. If I didn't, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do more of these for sure. Um, I'm gonna have the whole month of May off, so I'm gonna have plenty of time to do Q and A's and going live and stuff, and I haven't had that time to, like during the semester, obviously, but I'm excited to have a little bit of time in May to like focus on creating content for you, so stay tuned. And then I'm gonna show you the final product of this chair once I put it together. Technically tomorrow is the last day of classes, but my two classes I had this morning said that they are not having class tomorrow, just office hours. And I'm not sure if the class I'm about to sit down for is going to have a legit class tomorrow. So I could be having my last law school class ever, but I could not be. So this is very like anticlimactic, <laughs> but I guess I'll have to see what she says <laughs> during this lecture. So I'll let you guys know if this is my last law school class ever or it's not. Stay tuned. So I was correct. That was my last law school class ever. And I was more excited about it before I danced around my kitchen. You could see my TikTok. So that's a wrap. No more class ever again, besides my bar prep classes that I will have to attend. But I made myself my salad and now I am chilling on the couch. Finals start next monday well on yeah a week from today 
and the next few days I have what they call in law school study days slash reading days um basically classes end and then they give you set days to study and read but you should be doing that already at this point but it's nice that they give you time before the exam starts. It's not like you just have class and then all of a sudden classes are over and the next day you have a test. So it's nice. It's nice. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And next week's vlog is going to be finals week. And I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, I could wait, but it will be fun. We'll make it fun. All right. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.